Man, good have as well. Um, the marriage is uh, this 18650. This actually fits 18650s, these older LED torches. Got these some Woolworths. I had two of these, got a red one. This is my sister's one, but she didn't want any more, she gave it to me. And um, yeah, I just thought we can get the 18650 torches of these adapters in them. So, since these have these adapters as well at the time, well, let's see if this fits. And it does. There's obviously a lack of battery protection circuitry, so if this runs too flat, there's no protection of that battery. That's the only drawback. It fits in, this thing screws all the way on. Without damage to the battery, it uh, squashed that plate down. I gave it a bit of a squash down, I put a screwdriver handle there, and just squashed that uh, divot down there. So you can uh, see there's a bit of clearance. But with it, because of that spring, there's a lot of give in that, so that's a centimetre longer on this battery. But this spring is just enough to allow this 18650 to fit in inside here. I might even take this hole apart, pull the switch out and get a little bit black plastic. I might even um, shave that plastic down, take about 2 or 3 millimetres off that plastic in there which holds this switch in. This mechanic, uh, light pulls out and that plastic of the switch slides out that way. I did that with the red one to uh, repair this rubber and the other one I got, which tore, which makes it no longer waterproof. So I can actually hollow out this bit of plastic, grind that down a couple of millimetres off that so this goes in further. There's sort of a fair bit of, um, to go until I get to that switch so I can take a couple of millimetres off that safe, uh, safely. Because this, uh, the ones inside that lot of the circuit board to protect them, they're an extra three millimetres longer on top of the battery. So if I modify that bit of plastic in there, that stopper, that'll allow the protective circuit batteries to fit in here quite snugly. Perfect, let's give it a test. Wow, that's much broader. Check that out. Wow. Yeah, I'll be definitely modifying this torch so I can put ordinary, um, I'll put the ones that it locked in, in here, as I said. Because this is good, but there's no um, protection inside this light. If this runs a battery too flat, it will destroy the battery. So I need to have some sort of under, uh, allow for at least a, a one of those 18650s that fit inside here. So it actually can cut out safely if it goes too flat. It is broader, it's more of a spot, and it does outperform this one. This one has. Uh, other top LED, there's more of a blue tinge to them to get the white light. Regular three hole type LEDs, M ones. But this one's a chip on board LED, 10 watt. That's nice and good, look at that. Wow. And yet this thing's completely waterproof. And this in here says it is, but it isn't. The water, this is actually not sealed at all. Water gets in through there and through this uh, inside between where these bolts are in there and this handle. So. It ain't waterproof, but this is. Anyway, let's uh, see if I can pull it apart. Okay, that's pretty simple how this thing works. There's a rubber. And that switch just sits inside there. Lift this tab up and this thing slides underneath it. Holds the assembly all together. So I've got to cut this shorter. By at least three or four millimetres to allow for one of those batches to fit in. If I do that, that's not going to fit no more. It'd be a bit loose. But it needs uh, even rechargeable AAAs. These are much better. And in much higher capacity, uh, they're getting better and better. Well, success. I cut about three millimeters off the uh, that plastic wires of inside this. Much more easier fit inside here now. It's not so hard in the battery or the light anymore. Not as tight now. Beautiful. No damage done. And it will fit the run out of here in it. It's a very tight fit though. I might have to take some more off, but I don't think I can take much more off. But it does fit. As you can see, they got a little bit there. It's about how much I took off too. 
I probably took off about here. Right down there is where the circuit board is inside here. There's a circuit board and there's a tap that goes along there to the positive. And if this gets too low, that circuit board will turn the battery off. Something these don't have. It does just fit inside here. Bit tight, but it fits. Oh, very, very tight. Yeah. I have to take them all off in order to fit that one here in though. So it's um, I can get away with using this cell, but I've got to be careful. I may um, I wonder if it's possible to put since that gas. It's not actually technically that circuit board isn't in, really in series uh, for the battery. That circuit, I could tap it inside this head bit. If I find a circuit like, if I can buy that circuit board itself on its own, like what's in here, buy that piece alone, and put a circuit that's that size, that would fit inside a head inside this. I could solder that little circuit board inside here. And that's all I really need. I could use any ordinary 18650 then, without the setup protection, because it will already be in here. So that's a possibility. This is quite a good little torch. Very good little torch. Much more waterproof than this other one. Yeah, that's much better. Look at that. Yeah, the camera takes a while to recover from it too. Anyway. Possible model I could do this thing. Should be alright there. Thanks for watching.